Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. Wow. And now, so you lost your mama and your grandpa and your daddy. Yeah, in a year span. Within a year span. Mm-hmm. So, and you were locked up all, all the time. Mm-hmm. And so. The whole time. Mm-hmm. Wow. So y'all got to, you had you got him to console with you on that. But so, so how does the news get to you about Shorty Low? And I know people probably ain't asking you these questions, but I this I just like the real, bro. I mean, no, no, bro, it's cool. So, um, so um, it was it was a Wednesday. It said, said September twenty first. I ain't never Can't gonna forget. forget. It, it was a Wednesday. That was when my daddy died. The commissary actually yeah. September tw- the same 21st, day twenty first. Yeah, the commissary wow. actually come that day on a Wednesday. So the, the guy who owed me some commissary. Um or whatever, he came to my, my door and it was like five six in the morning. So they they had already called us to go to breakfast, but I ain't go. So he came back like, low, low, bro, come to the door. I'm like, bro, man, what's up? So I hopped off the bump. So I parked the door. I'm like, bro, what's going on? He was like, bro, you ain't gonna believe this. And I'm thinking he finna tell me like, you know, he didn't get to go to the store, so he yeah. didn't pay me this week or something like that. He was like, bro, yo dad, just, he died, he dead. I'm like, bro, what? I'm rubbing my eyes. You like you done heard this stuff. You, you, you done heard all of these different transitions. Now this this, this is two weeks apart because my granddad just, just passed. passed. So, so this two weeks later, so I'm thinking I'm like, bro. So I told him I say, man, get the fuck away from under my door, bro. You tripping? And I was about to close the door, and my other partner pulled up and gave me the cell phone. So I'm thinking like, damn, like they got to be real. Or so, so something going on. So on um, my call, my dad, mom. And my dad ex had picked the phone up. So she was like, hey, look how up. But it's like five, six in the morning. So I'm like, I'm like, oh man. So she like, hey, what's up, what's up? I'm like, bro, what's going on? And then she was like, um, I say, man, is it true or is it ain't true? She was like, it's true. And at that moment, I actually went numb. I, you know, I ain't never felt that before. Like I went numb, like I ain't feel nothing. It's like, it's just like, I was more angry or, or pissed off or, like damn, like what the? Like, I'm like, I don't know what's going on now. It's just like everything. It's like my mind spinning, but it's like I don't get it. It's like man, he gone. And I'm, I feel like man, that was the last thing I had left. Yeah, you know, that's my own like mom, granddad, and and now dad. It's like I ain't really too much crushing about that one. You yeah, know? yeah. You know, cause I was numb. I was just like man. After all of that, after he done went through so much, and 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 that's the crazy part because. This is something that you can't, you can't, you, you got to write a book, brother. You hear me? Mm-hmm. You got to write a book because it ain't, that ain't, that ain't something, that's not normal, bro. You know what I'm saying? But mm-hmm. I look at God in the whole situation, how you said that you spoke to him not too long before that. And then with your mom, you talk to her every week. So you were able to talk to her on that. A lot of people, in there and like wait months or you know and don't talk to their relatives and figure out that they just passed away you were able to have that last conversation you know we, what i we mean we was all close you know um before my mom passed <clears throat> i got the news that i was coming home december 2015 mm-hmm. so um so i um but i got that news like the early part of july and she came and seen me the following week and it's crazy because like when I seen her, she has um some blue um what, what's it called no um I I contacts in the eye okay. so so her eyes were blue and stuff and, and I'm like mom and like I don't know if they got anything to do with it but I'm like mom you know you look like an angel or something like yeah. God is or something yeah I'm like I say mom look at you so then when me and her was talking and stuff and then the other people was having a visit too. And they was like, your mom is so beautiful. Wow. She looked like an angel and stuff. Wow. I, I was just like, yeah, man. I, was like, I ain't never seen a um, with, with these in the eyes, whatever yeah. the case may be. So it's like, oh, it's like, well, just think about that. It just like made me think about all that. Like, then I told her she looked like an angel. Then two weeks later, she an angel. She became one. Wow. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101.